Good morning everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jana and we are in Sandansky, sunny Bulgaria. And this is another simple day of my life here. And uh, I'm ready right now to go to the market because it's Monday and in Sandansky usually Monday is quite uh, busy. A farmers market and they have a lot of fruits and vegetables so we will go in uh, I'm going to go now and check it out because it's the first time I'm going there after quarantine so we will see if they are still busy and of course we're going to check for prices and of course I'm ready already but uh, from the morning uh, the beginning of the day starts with what of course with breakfast as usual for breakfast I have buckwheat with uh, egg and sausage and I have sour cream here and uh, for Mr. Bond, uh, also buckwheat, but he has um, cheese, the, the, the local cheese, you know, like uh, Kashkaval, they call it. Okay, guys, so we are starting from um, the beginning of the market, which is begins from um, bus station, and it also has a supermarket next to Villa. So this is where the market hiding. So here actually you can buy some uh, traditional things. So yeah, I see like interesting, interesting stuff. But I don't know if they are like every day or only on Mondays. You see, guys, nobody is wearing the masks outside. So on inside, I'm the only one in the mask right now, and. Uh, the market is back and it's big as uh, it was the last time I left. You see guys, that's the exactly the same, nothing uh, changed after COVID-19. Of course, during the pandemic, it was all closed and it was empty. So you see now it's all back and they're looking at me like, what's this crazy woman doing in the mask? We're only wearing it inside the shops. So what they have mostly, guys, you see tomatoes, peaches, uh, melons, um, peppers, sweet peppers, I mean, and uh, onions, potatoes, garlic, and some cucumbers and a bit of watermelon. So you see pretty much that's it, guys. It's summer, July, and uh, they don't have, unfortunately, I was hoping to have some cherries, but it's all was in uh, uh, spring, so no season for cherries now. So it's uh, now the season for peaches and apricots. So what's the prices? It is all in left, and if you divide it by two, you would know what's in uh, uh, euros. So tomato costs between 70 and one left a kilo, which means 50, well 35 cents. 50 cents a kilo per uh, for tomatoes um, for example potatoes they have around 80 you see 70 statinki which is about 35 cents euro cents right so that's roughly what they have on the market so the watermelon 50 statinki kilo is very cheap 25 cents a kilo but I think um, uh, watermelons they bring from Greece, but these are very small ones, so maybe they grow them here actually. So you see how big choice of tomatoes. Cucumbers, they don't have unfortunately the little ones we like. It's not season yet, it's usually in autumn. So you see the sweet peppers, peppers are 160, 170, which is about 60 cents uh, a kilo. So uh, that's the pr kind of prices. Um, peaches. They have one left, 150, so about 50 cents, maybe 60 cents a kilo. Eggs, you see 20 cents per egg, 20 statinki per egg, which is about 10 cents, uh, euro cents. So it's about the same price actually as in Spain, it's about also 10 cents uh, an egg. So uh, where else they have, you see pretty much, uh, it's quite a lot, but mostly vegetables not much fruits, not no mushrooms. I bought some mushrooms in Bila, but no mushrooms here and no herbs. I like my parsley and dill and you see they don't have it on the market, unfortunately. I had to get it in the supermarket too. So here you can buy some little flowers for your balcony if you want. 
Oh, so onions is one lev, so it's about 50 cents a kilo. Garlic is about eight lev, which is four euros a kilo. This is the Greek part. They sell vegetables, fruits and vegetables from Greece, and they are usually cheaper here. So you see, like peaches are only one lev, which is 50 cents, and I might buy it here. But they usually want you to buy like a kilo, two kilos usually like to buy. And melons here, you see also one lev, which is 50 cents. And the market continues that way, and I'm going to just buy a little bit here, and also I'm going to get some eggs from that man. I usually, you see, I have chicken there, it's all fresh. He has from his little uh, farm. Okay, so I'm going to buy now some fruit. Okay, guys, I just came back from the market. You saw a little bit of overview of it, and it does look like the same. Uh, they have a lot of um, vegetables uh, and some fruits, but not much variety. Mostly it's tomatoes, lots of tomatoes as you saw. And uh, just the simple things like potatoes, carrots, uh, and uh, you saw peaches. So um, I got a little bit stuff, so I just want to have a little bit of rest. Because it got so hot again, we had this uh, nice rain for a couple of days and it was so pleasant and fresh air. And now it's uh, back to very hot weather again. And it's quite hard to go on your own to the shops because I have to carry it. So I didn't buy too much. But I will show you in a minute what I got and how much I spent. Okay, guys. So uh, this is what I bought. Not much, really. Um, this I bought in the supermarket. This site I'll show you in a minute. Uh, here is some eggs. I bought the whole set. It's, uh, 13 days or 20 statinki per egg, so I paid for this 6 uh, leva, so it's about 3 euros for 30 eggs. Um, then I bought so these peaches, and uh, that was 1 lev, so one uh, 50 cents a kilo. But uh, they're very soft, so uh, Mr. Bond just had a couple and they were very soft, he was complaining, because he also liked hard ones, but you see that's the downside, they don't let you to choose. And there's quite a lot for two of us, and uh, they like you to buy more than a kilo. They like you to buy at least two kilos or something. I mean, you can ask for, for less, but they don't really like you to do so. <laughs> so, um, okay, um, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it. And uh, he wanted watermelon, but I said, uh, sorry, I couldn't carry 10 kilo watermelon on my own. So, and uh, this is what I bought in Villa and spent... So between this two lev I paid and in this um, six, so I spent eight lev on, on the market, uh, which is about four euros, right? And 1572 lev I spent in uh, Bila, which is uh, about eight euros. Let's see what I got for eight euros. I got, I found deal, so um, it's not uh, on the market. They don't sell it on the market. I don't know why. What is wrong? Um, local. People don't like here to grow dill so parsley, so uh, it's uh, 79 statinki, but I think it's a little bit expensive because I'm sure I was buying uh, in Sofia when I was, I was buying like huge, huge um, uh, pieces of it, uh, mixed parsley and dill for one lev. So, and this is just like a little piece of it, it's only like one third of it maybe, <laughs> of what I was buying in Sofia before. So, uh, but it was on the market, and this is, you see, in the supermarket, it's always more expensive. So I bought some mushrooms, which also, they don't sell on the market, I don't know, in Bulgaria, it's really hard to find mushrooms, they don't like them, and so they don't sell it. So it's about 5 left for the mushrooms a kilo, which is 250 euros roughly, and it's actually... Uh, about the same price, I would say, in, um, in Spain, I was buying about 3, I think it was about 3 euros a kilo. And also, I think it was cheaper to buy in uh, Gibraltar, they have them for like 250 uh, in Gibraltar. But not always, sometimes, I don't know why, but from time to time, but usually it's quite also expensive. So I bought some uh, sausages for breakfast, we, we've been buying them before, they're like quite nice, so it's about 3 left for the 786 grams, uh, which is what, 150 euros for this, so it's quite cheap. Bought some chocolate, this is Ukrainian chocolate, uh, Roshen, I actually thought it was French before, but it is actually, remember they had President Poroshenko, and that's his, he, he has his um, confectionery, uh, fa factory, it's just some noise outside and uh, I hate motorbikes, I'm sorry guys, I absolutely hate motorbikes. 
they are so noisy <laughs> so yeah this is a really nice ones with um, nougat and orange nougat it's very tasty so I quite like uh, his um, chocolates um, so this is the cutlets I bought oh the chocolates um, they're quite cheap actually today um, I think they usually left or 50 cents but today it was I think about 70 something cents for it I can't find the price right now but something like that so should be I don't know anyway so like about 50 cents uh, maybe 45 cents for the bar um, that's the cutlets I was talking about so it's like little mini burgers isn't it so they're already ready we're just too lazy to do ourselves because usually my parents would buy mincemeat and then they mix it they like mixed mincemeat like the, this one they speak and they like a pork and they like to buy pork and the beef mixed and then they just add a lot of uh, onions and garlic in there which I don't really like so I don't usually eat with them cutlets and they make me feel uh, sick a bit so this ones we were buying before and they didn't like them because they were a little bit hard and not enough onions in them so uh, yeah that's what we're going to have for dinner I haven't decided yet we're going to have um, as a side dish maybe potatoes maybe something else so oh that one is uh, yeah 384 so it's an 8 lev a kilo uh, or 4 euros a kilo of course I bought some more buckwheat which is 3 uh, euros a kilo or 6 lev and some chocolates they are something like lev something lev 30 so about 60 cents a kilo and we never tried this one so that's why you see I have only few uh, they have different um, insides in them like coconut and uh, something uh, it's like a caramel and I bought like one each so me and Mr. Bond can try and not get uh, upset who got one and who didn't get and we'll just see if they're nice or not we're going to buy more we used we did buy previously some other ones and we didn't like it so that's why I don't buy many so just uh, only few to try it a little bit so that's pretty much it uh, my um, um, shopping today and um, well now I'm going to do a little bit of work of course my computer and then we're going to have uh, dinner of course well first I'm going to have a cup of tea I just come down now and of course I uh, I can't not have a cup of tea <laughs> even even though it's very hot outside I still like to have tea so um, I'm going to make now this uh, burger so we're going to have uh, two each and we're going to have another two for tomorrow is it correct yes and so I decided to make uh, mashed potatoes so uh, it's um, going to boil in a minute so when it starts to boil I will fry my um, cutlets but um, I also going to fry a little bit of onions with it to make it a little bit softer and tastier and then I'm going to give onions to my husband because I don't really like onions too much so um, yeah that's going to be our dinner tonight Okay guys, so you see I uh, fried a little bit of uh, our burgers and added to them uh, some onions and also I remember that I have some mushrooms, so I added some mushrooms and they're champignons, but to be honest they would be so nice if they would be from forest. I have lots of uh, mushrooms in forest here in Bulgaria and they would give such nice um, aroma to it, uh, but unfortunately I'm not very confident that I know uh, a lot about mushrooms because I used to know a lot when I was living in Siberia with my auntie but since then I've forgotten a lot and you know there are so many poison mushrooms out there in the forest so we are not going to risk it and just uh, use the mushrooms from the shop but it already smells so so nice so we'll be ready in a minute and my dinner is ready so that's my plate it already smells so nice you can see I have this a little bit of herb uh, dill and some mushrooms and I cut my uh, cutlet just to check if it's actually ready inside so it's already smells so so nice I uh, can't wait to eat it and that's my husband's plate so he has onions as you can see and slightly less um, of dill because he doesn't like the green stuff on his plate so but um, yeah it's all uh, smells really good so uh, that's it guys for now. Thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like and I see you next time. Bye everyone!